episode number three here in Long Island, and today we're going to raise the stakes. By which I mean, I'm going to go eat a big steak. Let's do it. a proper American steakhouse. I'm in vegan fancy dress today, so uh, I hope they let me in. Hi, are you open? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is it. Sweden? I don't know, I'm not good. No, I'm from, uh, from England. Want to take a picture? Yeah, just in case. Just in case I finish. Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound confident. Yeah, right. Right, so today I'm at a place called uh, J&R's Steakhouse, and it's in Islip, Islip? Islip. Islip. And I'm taking on the 76 ounce steak challenge. It's a giant piece of cow, and you get a uh, baked potato as well. Is that cow's vegetable, you think? And uh, you get one hour to finish, yeah? One hour to finish. And if you do successfully finish, you get the meal on the house? Yes, meal on the house. And and the shirt too. Cool, right. Um, in that case, I, I have to cut it first and check it's cooked. Yeah, yeah. Check the temperature, take a bite, and then we'll start the fire. Yeah, looks good. Right, yeah, good to go. All right. Okay. Good luck. I think I'm gonna need it. <laughs> What's up, Abby? Welcome back to episode three in the trip to Long Island. Today I'm doing a steak challenge, and it's been a while since I, I, I last did a steak challenge, and I'm not gonna lie, it shows. <laughs> the end pieces are nice and charred, you know? They're not really medium rare, but that's because they're on the outside of the, the cut of meat. These parts are delicious. The, uh, the middle is, um, is a little bit more rare. That makes it a little harder to swallow. Yeah, medium rare for enjoyment. The uh, the sinew is a little tricky to gulp down, but come on, nobody orders a steak well done. It's practically an act of criminality. The key when you do a steak challenge is to stay busy, so while you're eating, you should be cutting the steak up. In fact, cutting the steak is almost as hard as eating the stuff. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. One hour, yeah. <laughs> My fingers are going into cramp. Yeah, I'm just talking to a, an old bloke there who's out for a casual dinner with his granddaughter, and I find there's an interesting cultural difference between old people in America and those in England, because in America, for some reason, they're impressed by this. In England, they're just generally repulsed by it. <laughs> oh. I feel like my left arm is going to fall off. <laughs> Thankfully the steak is delicious. So um, I'm not bored of it yet. I am bored of cutting it though. Yeah, thankfully the steak tasted fantastic. I have to say I enjoyed the parts on the outside rather than the center. Uh, probably just because they were less, I don't know, what's the word, visceral, juicy. I'm gonna have a humongous blister on my left index finger. I think that's what it's called, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much Anatomy 101. I got there in the end. At this point, you, you can really see just how much steak it is because at the beginning, I wasn't that intimidated by it. I was thinking, yeah, it looks a bit flat. It doesn't look too tough. But once you start breaking it open, you've got a tray full of, of steak, despite having eaten already for about 16, 17 minutes. Um, you, you can just see how much uh, how much meat is is really there. I don't know what the sauce is, but um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this on uh, on here just to moisten up the, the meat a little bit. That just tastes like ketchup. <laughs> I don't know how how you think I'm doing. Actually, you're not doing too bad, actually. Yeah, well that's that's no, good to hear. Not bad at all. Much better than most people. Much better than most people. That's a real badge of honor right there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm breaking out the sauce now, which the more of it I ate, I realized that, you know, although it tasted like ketchup, 
a first taste, um, it, it's a steak sauce, right? So it's kind of a, I would describe it as a halfway house between ketchup and uh, brown sauce, HP, Daddy's, whichever brand you prefer. <laughs> but um, it helped, helped to lubricate the meat. I'm, I'm not going to expand on that. <laughs> I don't know what this sauce is, but it helps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that by the time I stop eating, almost the full ball is gone. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, the challenge. It's a 76 ounce steak challenge, accompanied by, for some reason, don't know why, a baked potato. <laughs> you also get sour cream with it. And uh, although it was just a baked potato, it's around this point I start to really look forward to eating pretty much anything but, uh, but steak. And yeah, if you finish in an hour, it's on the house and you get a free t-shirt too. I'm going to put an ice pack on my jaw when I get back home. Oh, so much chewing. Yeah, you know, when you stop doing contests, uh, the jaw endurance is really the first thing to go. You could eat steak quicker than this. It's just for me anyway, I find it ultra dangerous trying to swallow huge chunks of meat. Plus, if you're going to eat steak, it's expensive, right? You might as well enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, but believe me, I've seen a few people have some hairy moments choking on steak when they got a little bit overzealous with swallowing chunks that were too big and over here, you know, safety is the number one priority. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One more. Oh, you got this. You're only halfway now. Just about. <laughs> My jaw, I like. I'm not full. My, my jaw is a problem now. Like yeah, I'm getting yeah, really tired. Yeah, that's really a problem then, right? <laughs> there, now, oh yeah, now you got it. Though. You got 30 minutes left. Thank God for this sauce. I don't know what the egg it is, but it helps. You keep saying that. If you read the label, actually, I do read the label there. <laughs> that's how I, I come to the conclusion. That it is, in fact, steak sauce. But uh, yeah, the, the sauce. As I mentioned, it did help quite significantly. Pretty tangy, refreshing. The sign of a good steak, I'd say, is if you can eat, what, about 64 ounces of it so far, and it still tastes good, it's a good steakhouse. I mean, don't get me wrong, at this point, I'm very much still enjoying the taste of the steak. It's just a lot of hard work to get down. The old mandible's starting to give in a little bit. But uh, just a few more mouthfuls and the baked potato, and we're a step closer to a T-shirt. A t-shirt that will no doubt be too big for me, but a t-shirt nonetheless. Oh, wow. So obviously you go around doing these things. Yeah, a little bit too much, actually, if anything. Oh. <laughs> that, that's the kind of thing I would only say after nearly 40 minutes of eating. <laughs> like, apparently only seven, uh, seven people, I think, have done this. Or uh, seven to ten, I think maybe the server said. Something like that, not many. I can honestly say... I've never looked forward to a baked potato as much in my entire life. I know, yeah, I, I was really looking forward to it too. Up until this point, we could pretty much call this uh, a low carb challenge. <laughs> it is quite literally just a baked potato with some sour cream on it and it tastes like heaven. Yeah, I never really did figure out if that was objectively just a really good baked potato or if it was just the fact that I've been eating steak for, you know, 40 minutes and just a taste of anything but steak. Uh, tasted really good by comparison, but we're almost there now. Just a few scraps of potato and sour cream, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. The steak here, I, I would really highly recommend this. This challenge has been around for a long time. It's a pretty famous one, and uh, yeah, although not many people have done it, I think it's it's achievable. You might just want to chew on something like I don't know, a tennis ball or something like that for a few days before and catch the next one. All right, this is baby food, and that was Chainars. 76 a uh, steak charge. <sighs> oh man, my jaw hurts so much. Please God, please tell me you have dessert menu. Huh? You want dessert? Yeah, I, I need, <laughs> after that I need something sweet. <laughs> I feel like it's really appropriate that the Michael Bolton song, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, is playing while I eat this slice of cheesecake. <laughs>
got a t-shirt. I almost forgot about it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem at all. I like that. That's, that's a cool one.